In our first tutorial, we looked at warp mode and the basic transform and keying functions of the memory palace. In this video, we're going to look at the basics of paint mode. As you can see here in the menu, if I move my cursor to path and push the button, it switches to paint mode. Paint is one of two foundational modes that the memory palace ships with. In paint mode, the buffer is persistent, meaning that any movement of the object stays drawn on the screen. So again, I have a simple ramp coming into the RGB inputs on the memory palace. This is going through a keyer, which is giving me this tiny ring in the middle. As you start to transform the object, you'll see the immediate difference between paint mode and warp mode. As the object moves around, the buffer is never redrawn. This allows for a variety of cool painting effects, and it's also an ideal time to introduce CV control, as this is much more interesting in paint mode. The clear button allows you to reset the buffer at any time. I'm going to recenter this back to zero and clear it. With no CV inputs, paint mode can become pretty confusing. As the buffer keeps redrawing over itself, sometimes it can be difficult to see what moves are being made. So for this demonstration, I'm going to put an LFO into the VC input on hue, turn up the control. This will make moves like zooms and rotations a little bit easier to see. Clear the buffer again. So now I'll use the second LFO to start affecting the X position. I'm pulling this down all the way so that we get the full length of the screen to work with. It's going off the screen a little bit, so pull that somewhere in there. And then remember, again, anytime you want to clear, push the clear button and it resets. A more dynamic way of doing this is by adjusting the key. So if I pull the center of the key all the way down to nothing, it starts drawing a black ring across the frame. And as that black ring starts drawing over other parts of the buffer, it has the effect of erasing it. I'll pull the zoom down a little bit. Cool. So now we have these rings drawing across the screen. But we can also add a little bit of spin to make it more interesting. I'm going to adjust the speed of the LFO a little bit as well. So let's clear this. You can start to see the effect. Now by adjusting various parameters on the key, and the zoom, bring down the center again to start erasing, bring it back up to start drawing. As we increase softness, we'll get a softer key. And if we increase softness towards the a very upper range, we start to get basically more of a trail effect and less of a drawing. And again, this is due to the keyer creating more or less a black image which redraws over the frame, kind of erasing what was back in the buffer before. By playing with different settings, we can get a wide variety of different effects. And remember, at any time, push the clear button and it resets you back to zero.
again, we can play with scanning. This will give us a little bit of a more dynamic drawing effect. So we'll also have the consequence of clearing the buffer regularly when it hits that zero position. Adjust the width. Crank up the softness a little bit. And that's the basics of paint mode.